Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to another video. I found this guy right here on the Mathematical Meme site. The best source for finding quality integrals. Uh, it's quite an easy one, but it's really beautiful in my opinion. So I want to share it with you guys so that you can sniff in this beautiful listy quality. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> so. At first we could rewrite this integral, but because it looks kind of messy with all those square roots, cube roots, fourth roots, etc. So that's the integral from 0 to 1 of. So this x is just the x. And then times x to the 1 half power, we can distribute this 1 half power to this x. And now we have to distribute this 1 half power to this cube root onto this x. So that's just times x to the 1 over 2 times 3. And let's move on with this process. So this square root into this cube root into this fourth uh, root onto this x. So that's times x to the 1 over 2 times 3 times 4. And this goes on to infinity, as you might notice, the x. Let me rewrite this a little bit. We can safely assume that we can multiply a 1 on all those numerators and it won't change anything. So we are just going to assume it. And now we can rewrite this, because those numerators are just factorials. All of you guys should know this. So this is the integral from 0 to 1 of x. And then times x, 1 over 2 factorial. Times x, 1 over 3 factorial. Times x, 1 over 4 factorial, and so on, dx. And there's a nice property. We got the same base, so we can bring those exponents together, we can add them together. So right now we've got the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the... And now it's... that's x to the first power. We are going to rewrite this a little bit. So the first power is just 1 over 1 factorial, so that's 1 over 1 factorial plus 1 over 2 factorial plus 1 over 3 factorial plus dot 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 dx. And this right here looks kind of familiar. If we would just add a 1 over 0 factorial to this thing, so that would just be a 1, we would get an exponential function of the first order of the first power. But can we just add a 1? Well, we can, but we have to subtract it right again. So we can do this. So let's rewrite this a little bit. This is the integral from 0 to 1 of, and this is now x to d. And let me rewrite this. Uh, it this way, so that's minus 1, and then plus a 1. But I'm going to place parentheses here, and like I said before, we want to write this 1 as a 1 over 0 factorial. So that's 1 over 0 factorial, so it does become clear to you guys. And then plus 1 over 1 factorial, plus 1 over 2 factorial, plus da da da, dx. And we can rewrite this as a sum, just to be precise, so that's integral from 0 to 1, of x to the minus 1 and then plus the sum from n equals to 0 to infinity of 1 to the nth power plus 1, but 1 to the nth power is just 1, so we can leave it as it is, over n factorial. And that's great because we know this is just e to the first power. So let's rewrite this. So finally, this is just the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the e minus 1 of power dx. And that's pretty easy to integrate. So when we integrate that, we get 1 over e times x to the e power from 0 to 1. Okay, so now this is just um, 1 over e times x to the e power from 0 to 1. And if we plug in 0 into here, that would just become 0. And if we plug 1 into here, so there's 1 to the e power, that's just 1. So our final answer is 1 over e. And then we're done. So that's quite a beautiful result, in my opinion. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and recommend me if you like. And up until the next video, have a flammable day. See ya! <laughs> das war ein Lied.